Hello and welcome to Road CC. Now, we have spotted a trend already at Eurobike, um, and it's indoor training. Everyone it seems to be bringing out an indoor trainer, and we are here at Wahoo, um, and they have brought out the kicker bike. It's the step up from their kicker. Um, and so we are going to take an in-depth look at it. So I'm Chip Hawkins, founder of Wahoo Fitness, uh, here today in uh, the Zwift booth with our new kicker bike. Uh, give some of the some of the features and accomplishments we've done here. We have a fit system that will work with um, through our app with any of the standard fit systems, Guru Retool, um, allowing you to get anything from a you know short female rider on a TT bike to a, to a to a big guy. Um, so we've we've managed to fit to anyone's anyone's bike. Um, we have a Gates Carbon Drive, but we've built a gearing system that allows you to actually choose Shimano, SRAM, ETAP, or Campy. Um, you can pick whatever you want, a 1x, 2x, uh, you can even put a 72, 72 cog uh, cassette on the back if you want to see what that would feel like. Um, so we're super proud of that. We've got, um, we've got a built-in tilt mechanism so you can uh, simulate grade which is uh, something no one's really seen before. And, and after we put the climb out, we felt it had to have. Uh, it adds a lot of complication, but it's a, it's a huge, huge for us. Um, uh, to get the rest of the fit, we've got our hammerhead system. So we have five, um, 165 to 175 on the, on the crank. Yeah, it, it's got all the shift exactly like the whatever set you have. Um, it's using real bike components. So if you want to put your saddle, no big, no problem. You want to put your bars, no problem. Everything's interchangeable. Same with the pedals. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, I have now been joined by Tyler. Um, and you're going to take us a bit more in-depth into the fit systems because there are three to go through. That's correct. Uh, first, I wanted to show you we have the quick release levers that make all the adjustments very simple and easy. And then we guide you through that process with the three different fit systems. The first being the professional fit. And that's taking a Guru, a Retool, or a Trek professional fit document, grabbing a select few of the data fields, inputting that into our app. And then we guide you through the exact fit system here and measurement that you need to take. The second one, which is really cool, we're very proud of it, is uh, you take a photo of your exact bike, you highlight a few different uh, inputs here and then we output those exact measurements to match your exact bike uh, and then the third and final one which is cool is your basic setup you know you're, I'm five foot eight I have a 30 inch inseam I want to ride a little relaxed and we'll guide you to a very basic fit just to get you up and running and then you can very quickly and easily dial in your fit from there uh, the, the second fit system was the one that we saw on stage where you literally we showed a video of you taking a photo yep. And it, it really looks quite intuitive. Um, are, are you looking for an easier fit, uh, one that's you know just kind of comparable between you know your road bike and your trainer? That's exactly. That's what we set out to do was make the the setup and the fit easy and intuitive. And that's where that photo idea really came from. And just selecting the inputs from your bike guide you to match that exact fit. And it really, you once you get that set up, you're able to hop on your bike and just ride. And that's really our goal is zero to ride as fast as possible. Yeah. Well, that's a bit more in detail about the fit systems. Uh, we're gonna go and actually have a little bit of a go and see what we think. Okay, so one of the other really cool tech features around this bike is that we've got programmable buttons here. That, and you were telling us on stage about some of the um, the things that you can do with these buttons, but also the just the vast range of setup options that you can have. So could you go a bit more in detail about these? Yeah, the, uh, we're calling this feature Reality Shift. And what we try to accomplish again is matching your outdoor bike. So we created several different configuration options. You can match Shimano Di2, Shimano Mechanical, SRAM ETAP Mechanical, and Campy. So we have five different button configurations here. And using a combination of those, you can match your outdoor bike. The other cool things that we've done to extend that functionality is down to dialing in the crank set. Do you run a one by, a two by, a three by? 
Do you run a compact or a mid-compact? All of that is fully configurable in the Wahoo Fitness app, even down to the which size cassette you run. And um, more importantly, what's the biggest chain ring size that you can have? You can run up to a uh, 70 tooth cassette and a 70 tooth on the crank set. We, we went wild with it. We said, people will want to geek out. Why not? We want, we want to let you do it. That's mad. One of the final really neat tricks about this uh, indoor trainer, are we still calling it that or is it smart it's bike. a smart bike? Okay, so one of the really nifty tricks about this smart bike is its ability to tilt. Um, so we've seen it on stage. Um, can we go a bit more into detail about this? Yeah, so we created a, a center pivot design which puts the pivot right underneath the rider weight. Uh, and we have our rear linear actuator driving the tilt to and from. Uh, we have a max inclination of 20 degrees, uh, a downhill grade of negative 15. So you really get that full effect when you're riding. Um, and we also, we did a bunch of real world testing to figure out how fast it needs to move to mimic the real world testing from say a negative 10 to a five degree positive. And then our physics model outputs that and the timing is spot on. So this is um, a, quite a quick gradient changes, it's all right with that? Yeah, it depends on the occurrence. So if you're going through that, it'll speed it up just enough. If you're going through a very subtle roller section, it'll do it just enough. But uh, yeah, it's got all the smarts in there to control it. Well, there we go. That was the Wahoo Kicker bike. Uh, it's very comprehensive, very expensive, um, and we will soon have it on test to find out if it's very good. So there we go. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Cheers.